perseverance for me it's just never giving up perseverance to me means succeeding when no one else thinks you can I guess perseverance to me is yeah picking yourself up at a point when uh, when no one would ever hold it against you for stopping. Perseverance for me is going forward always. Doing something until I've achieved the, my personal goal in whatever it is. Perseverance for me is never giving up. Thinking you found your limit and finding a way to keep going. Perseverance to me is your ability to overcome adversity. Uh, I think we've we've been a good demonstration of that in this race, and it's a it's a term we talk about a lot, and I think uh, it demands a lot of respect. On both the personal and professional level, you know, it's been a very difficult race for us, um, you know, for me personally uh, and as a team, you know. I mean, the result is uh, nowhere near what we hoped it would be, um, and that's a result of some serious adversity, you know. We're really competitive people, and, uh, you know, in this race, once our position was established, you know, we had a lot of personal pride on the line. And every time the start gun goes off, that's another opportunity to prove yourself, you know, not uh, to the world, but also to yourself, you know. Uh, it's like a new beginning. And so we took every single leg uh, as a new opportunity. And um, unfortunately, at the end of the day, the result isn't what we wanted it to be, but that motivates us moving forward and it'd be a, a, a tough way to go out. And we're already thinking about the future. I think I, I think I speak on behalf of Mark and myself, um, you know, when I say thank you. You know, thank you to all of our sponsors, you know, the entirety of the team that we surrounded ourselves with. Um, it's been a wild ride, certainly, but we accomplished a lot, and we're very lucky and privileged to, to, to do what we do. And um, you know, we're just we're, we're thankful for the opportunity, and um, you know, very very appreciative. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we've overcome a lot with this team. And, uh, you know, every time that we've been down, I don't think anyone would have ever have complained or doubted if people said, OK, I've had enough, you know. Everyone would have been justified to say that. But in each occasion, people picked themselves up. You know, they came back, they supported each other, they came back stronger. And, you know, it's, the, the, that spirit of resilience and perseverance has been, uh, has been incredible in this team. and. Uh, you know, I've, I know for one, I've, I've tried really hard this race to have every time something go wrong is, is look at myself and go, right, well, you know, where's the opportunity here? How do we make something good out of this? How do we learn from this? You know, and, and, and that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's sort of what it's meant, meant for me. And I, I, I think it's been great to see everyone else with that same attitude. We came into this campaign with, with you know, obviously the aim to do very well, but also with this, the aim of trying to, you know, on a broad scale, leave the, leave the world in a little better place than we found it. And, uh, and I think, you know, working with Vestas and 11th Hour Racing, is, it's been tremendous. I know it's changed my attitude about things. And I can't see myself ending this, this obsession with this race, really. And uh, this race is, you know, it's had the hardest moments in my life, but it's also brought me some of the greatest joy. And, uh, you know, I've, I met my, my wife through this race and I've had two kids that are growing up in this race. And, uh, yeah, I fully intend to, to, to keep sailing, I think. This edition of the race, I've, I've learnt emotionally what I can handle. Um, I handle being a loose term, you know, obviously it's, it's hard. Some days are harder than others, uh, but we've had, we've had a 
We've had setbacks after setbacks this race, and um, though in the moment it's been very, very difficult to handle, um, we've all, myself personally, but as a team as well, we've all sort of picked ourselves up and and just kept fighting. And I think that's 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 a huge that's a huge achievement for anyone to do in any aspect of life. But to apply that to something as difficult as the Volvo Ocean Race. I think we should all be really proud. And the, the other point of this race for me personally is that there's, there's a change starting and it's happening very slowly but it's the perception of women in the race or women in sailing, whether it's in the dinghies club racing or sailing around the world in the Volvo Ocean Race, it's, it's changing but I feel like it's something that we need to, to keep moving forward with and we need to keep supporting and keep educating people that women are qualified and women can handle this race and women should have a place on a boat just as much as any other person. And one day it won't be women and men on a boat, it will just be a crew. So I guess, um, you know, I won't be the history-making woman who won the race, but I would very much like to be on the list of women who have won the race. So uh, I feel I've got one more, one more lap of the planet to go. This campaign has been unbelievably challenging, rewarding, life-defining in so many ways. And we've had all kinds of ups and downs. And it was really exciting to kick off the campaign, start building the team. You know, we really had a great ethos and uh, got amazing people involved from the beginning, uh, which was one of our goals. You know, we had a lot of success early on. Won the first leg into Lisbon. You know, on the podium consecutively, and then. You know, our tragedy in Hong Kong and, and that whole situation. You know, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about, uh, you know, the guy and his family. I think of myself as a, a life learner and I'm always trying to see how I can do better. So I, I, I still reflect on the situation quite a bit. You know, I feel, I feel quite proud of how we, how we handled things, but you know, the situation itself really was a tragedy. Back in the race in Auckland after rebuilding the boat, you know, second to Cape Horn, um, and then the mass falls over. So, more, you know, another challenge, a whole different challenge. Um, eventually, jury rig a mast out of a out of a light post. I mean, you can't you can't write this stuff. Um, but you know, we're able to once again persevere and. Uh, Get the boat back in the race, podium finish back into Newport, and and uh, you know we've had success coming in here to the finish as well. So it's uh, it's been unbelievably challenging, um, but really rewarding at the same time. I've probably learned more in these last 18 months than I have in my entire life. I've been challenged in so many ways, so many ways, um, and and I'm, I'm I'm so thankful for that opportunity. You know, it's it's. You, you only really learn when it's hard, right? When, when you are challenged with some new situation that you've never been in before. If it was easy, it would be boring, so. Getting to do the Volvo Ocean Race is a privilege, and, uh, and that doesn't come without a lot of support. We've had an immense amount of support from our families, you know, my fiance, parents, all the way to you know, our, our communities. Uh, so many people that have supported us along the way. When we came up with this crazy idea to do this race years ago, and people told us that we were nuts, uh, some you know there, there were those loyal people that, that backed us and helped us get here. Uh, you know, to Vestas, Eleventh Hour, all of our partners, uh, uh, the Volvo Ocean Race, all of the global community that's been following us, all of our loyal fans and the kids in the classroom who check the tracker every day. It's unbelievably humbling. It's uh, greatly appreciated, and we wouldn't be able to do it with all that support. So thank you very very much. Thank you.